Ik echa jochtatine, je ganas de kat johan. Gulchis, wuchin chasati. Je oe, dachun je gig, oe. Siet ka de, kuk kotin. Ka ish, ka ikas, kas tuut. Juk, ja ha juk atangi. Je hoji, kas show de heen, oe singit. Hast du Ani Kach? Wo hans du? Schrakwe. Schrakwe Kaya. Kuchte Tee. Ach, wo aye hast du a Gien? Kessling get aye wo Tien. Das klet ha aye. Ja, ach, ich de Kla. Norway Kaya Kuchte Kuchte Tee. Je au ach tu je ge kwas. Norway. Kuu, wo ayah was a teen. Ya acht was a go. Ya acht lich go has ani. Anita a kuchatini. A great yak e. Kakain could us away puts a tea you. Ye away for ach. What Norway kuu wook a dach. Kesh kusti aya. Kesh kush e. Kesh. Kusti aya kesh usk ee kute. Just kesh uschini na at. Ye awa yak ee na at a ji. A gaad kesh ke ke is a guk. Kesh ke is a kwa aad. Ye awa ach tu was a guk was a tini kwa has du aani. Seed ka ye du a saak. Ganti yak seed it so. Ach, a yu has a ya saak. Ye ska a ya gwall ag e chad gwg gwa ti. Gwall tlai nach llingid gwe nach yw challa adgi. Ach, ag a yag ya gwg gwa u. Gwall du ina ya yw gwa gwa taan. Jys gwe kashuk adi tu nach gwa a. Tlal wuj chani gwag du gheen. Na jwe we ni kutlein ha chwg e ya ti ya yi dat. Ye gynnal chi ish yuch sa ti ni wasa yi tu wuj ya chana. Yuk ewe siit ka de kakki kakki ti ni Ka eid llinged yw gatangi stil tu at. Yw eichawe yw gwae a chwyn gynllchis yw eid yn ei. Gynllchis. Fe wysh canach, wysh canach atu aade yw eich gwall yw eich gwaas hi. Cych channa a gwae a ag eich gwaad hi. Gwall dis yaddi. Hel gydain chas ag yw gwell dys tlein. A cad chad sy o'ch ag. Was a dwy as ag wwj wwj gynach tŵl nig. Gwell gyd yw dwy as ag yw adlaid chag yn ag. Clan conference bo a. Gwell ag 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 tŵw as ag yw wwj yn ag ag yw gynach yw gynach yw gynach tŵl a ag. Was aach tu as agu wujin chas a ti. Tlach le zi awe ha jig. Ya ni kutlein kanach awe ha jig awe. Ha jita wa ti awe. Ya le zi. Oan ganin z ka wu le ti ish. Ya tlach kanach awe. Tlach ka chuch aya u gud. Gwall a. A jita chawe ka tu u ya ni knuj. Ye e chwadji. Ye go ae e chwan yw am. Chwna chaw e siw. Yag e si tan yag. Jas siw ani. Tlach chwna chaw e. E chwadji yn. Dleid gadlan. Yel te katwe. Tag. Tleg. Chwna chaw e. Gwneu gwys y tag a ylde cydill yn gyda ni. A gaa awe. 
Atmospheric river. There's a hortative verb, so I can, that I might fly to the blue sky. Uh, so, so we see the sky, in this case, being something you can arrive at. Uh, if you're a bird, I'm imagining it'd be the same for a plane. Oops, that means an underline. So we better fix that. Then we see day towards the sky. And we also see day into the sky. So from a Shingit perspective, there's quite a few different things going on here. So it's something you can arrive to, it's something you can go towards, and it's something you can go into. However, in this one, he stabs his beak into the sky. So he's, Raven has a different set of rules when it comes to the physics of the world. We'll go find a few others. Well, there's hearts. So there's towards. Uh, he unscrews his beak. So there he is. Uh, and this is a Sha dog. He liked to use the what's typically the inland M Masa Dutu he just loves his, loved his inland connections, being and talking about migrations. And again, you have to have a contracted W, so there has to be a vowel before it. Then, classifier that, or you have to have a consonant vowel combination, and then the root, and then you'll get the M. Hot day, so going towards the sky. Hot day towards the sky. Uh, let's see. Yan wuti. So, so this one you say kelsu dasa a yan wuti to cut clay you hot day. So he puts something down towards the sky. Just so getting into him and the stars and uh, I think the moon was already there. If, if you really get into the deep details on this story. So when Raven goes to find that box at the Nas, I think it's the stars and the sun. 
I think those are the two boxes he gets there. But you know, there's lots of different variations on these stories. But I think the moon was already there because the moon was his uncle, and he already defeated his uncle, who then flooded the world. So I guess. Chatznach. So there you have uh, through the sky. So if we go back, we say. Uh, so there it says he flies up through the sky. So might be. So then we get into like, so we're kind of getting this name, trying to think of like an atmospheric river. So like here's a a flow of rain that sort of, if you go up above the world, I guess it looks like a, a river when it moves. Uh, so the first part is sort of figure out how does it, I think we attach it to the sky. That seems like it would make sense to me. I have heard a word for the atmosphere of the earth, which is the planet's skin. But there's two types of skin. Anybody know the two types of skin? Like, you know, like there's two types of tails. Dugu. Dugu, if it's removed, or duke, if it's on. And that's like a animal, us. It's also complexion. What's the other type of skin? Let's go take a look. And this will get us into, we'll take a look at a couple different categories here. So we'll go down to some, the English section and we'll look for skin. Hopefully we got coming up in the chat. So you do have some other things like there's descriptions of there's like the surface of the skin, baggy skin. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think it's in here. What? Okay. Oh no. Ah, Adi. No wonder we don't know. Now, what's that do with Saka at? Okay, hold on. Now I gotta fix something. Um, I'm gonna get a million things on here. Is that man, man made skin like over a canoe? No, it's a uh, hot, which I'm surprised I don't have. Oh, it's something in the sky, huh? Well, no, hot is uh, it's sometimes hot. -y. It's the skin of a fish or a frog. So a fish or a frog has a different type of skin. Oh. So chas e, so King King Gisi was saying the elders used to say we think it on the when they're talking about the atmosphere. Like if you pull back and you could see that layer where there's air or how that stuff works. So uh, yeah, I gotta fix that. Um, and then we know there's two types of tails, right? What are the two types of tails? Flake. Okay. Two two types of what? Tails. Like a tail, like a this kind of tail and a this kind of tail. E oh. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh, good. Tleedy. So tleedy. 
would be the tail like a dog has a chidi. A monkey would have chidi. Uh, Martin, like a whole bunch of, you know, it's a long skinny tail. It's chidi. Usually it kind of can move back, not like a finger because it can move both ways, right? And then kuwu is the other type of tail. Make sure I'm going to tone right. I think it's kuwu. Like a fish tail? Yeah, and that's a fish or a bird. So we learn. There should be a thing of jeopardy. I'll take categories for a thousand. <laughs> yeah. That would be awesome. Wouldn't it? I, I don't know how many of you were um, uh, in a session with Dick Downhauer one time he was talking about telling the story of um, which story has a bunny rabbit in it. I don't know. Anyway, some kind of fairy tale. And he said his audience was just laughing and laughing. And he was using the wrong kind of tail. He was using a fish tail when it should have been a bunny rabbit tail. Peter Cotton Cool. And they thought that was hilarious. Oh, you were there when he was saying it? Yeah, yeah. tell us about that. Here it is. Cool. <laughs> We should have both. So now we got the two types of tails. Uh, we have the two types of skin, duke and chasi, which I think would just be chas if it's on. So, if, you know, I think that's how most of those body parts work. What about the two types of flesh? Glee. Glee. And glee. What about Isn't one like a muscle and the other one is some kind of other type? Oh yeah, so that would be muscle or that would be, so it's muscle and then it becomes, if it's glee, then it becomes meat. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is how that stuff works. And, uh, but there's another type of thing that has a different type of meat or flesh. We know that one. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, so that is fish flesh. So a fish has different type of meat than an animal does. So now we've got the two skins, the two, what else? The two tails and the two uh, fleshes, meats. Okay, back to our being in the sky. This is just interesting to me. So Hatznach, that's kind of interesting, but I don't know if that's like piercing the sky into what might be beyond it. I think that's it for for that one. Those are the those are the main references that I know of. But let's see. We'll just sort of do a. We'll go to the verb dictionary. We'll do a different kind of search here. So what we'll look for here is I'll put sky and see what happens. So here we get, so we see hot is the noun for sky, but it's also a verb root. So you see it could be shakte. It might be clear someday, not soon. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. And then uh so then we can see cloudy. We see move through the air in a down especially in a downward curve. Chunate du tu nach the arrow went through them. Hudzi yaushagaz, a meteor shot across the sky. So in that case, you don't even have the sky built into the sentence. It just sort of has to do with kind of moving. And this is how arrows move, you know, like when we're doing a story and somebody shot the bear father through the heart. That was the one. 
And I think that one has the, the verb root of a house post. We get suspended in the sky, but I think this really only works for celestial things. So it wouldn't work, you know, because weather is a whole different <laughs> life. For Tlingit, this would be like the moon or Mercury. So this verb root hot is to kind of be dangling or suspending. Uh, and then you also see it. So we see there's a, but this is something that I think is not really. Oh, you're not muted. We hear how you're practicing. Okay, let's see. But so that's kind of hanging there. And then that's, that's kind of it. So I guess I would probably say maybe like it's a river along the sky. But these are, we could send these up to it's like we put them in a little paper. Okay. Any other thoughts, questions, things you're thinking about? I yeah. thought for oh, sorry. Okay. I thought for some reason the key meant just higher up, but it it's only used with the key on Kawu. No, it, it is up above. Okay. And so I do think it could work. Um, but I, I don't really care. It's just the word I happen to know. Okay. We were talking about like clouds moving as well. So that, that's another thing. We're like, but we were sort of in this discussion a while back about how clouds might be like sometimes you have clouds that move kind of fast and looks like a a long tube in the sky kind of. And so but I think this is kind of different. Maybe it's like there's so much water that it becomes like a river. So you could, it can also, and we'll see, like, we're just kind of messing around. We'll see what speakers say as well, because it could be that would work as well to be above. But we'll send, we'll send the description around and see what, see what Keishi or Nashahaj think. Earlier, you said something like, seat kade kakodakin. Can you please explain maybe um, what that verb mode is that you use for teaching? Yeah, well, I think the first time before we hit record, I think I said, but that would be so I could study. So it should be, I should have said, so that is um, purposive. So it's like, did this thing in order for this other thing to happen? And you you look up the hortative, or you put the hortative together, and then you add a T on the end. So I could say, I came here to eat. And so the, if it ends with an open, then you, you tend to use the Y-I-T or W-U-T. I was all, I was going to tell you all that today, Yayagi Weglagan Ha Hunt Kuchte Yana 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 Gut, um, the sun is coming back to us. Uh, um, but maybe a different verb would be better. And then I saw that come to ya. Could I say like a gone cook day? Come to ya. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's see. I like it walking. That's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I would probably like when you go cloch, I would expect it to go plus D. Oh. So it's and the good it's starting to walk back here. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, and I know there's hots too, but I always think of like the Raven stories where like, but I've, I've heard hots too for something to be in the sky as well when people are describing something. So it could be hots to Hini. Maybe that's what we end up landing on. It's the, the river in the sky. Sounds like a good rock and roll song when I start my singing punk rock band no stopping us okay gonna cheese don't tease me with that clinky punk rock band i did it in english about 10 20 years ago if you're gonna do it let's do it <laughs> you can put i'll put new strings on my guitar let's do it oh, God. Uh, yeah well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call it Atskani. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was sharing these images of Valentine's Day cookies. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I'll, I'll get some. So I bought some. And I saw it again. I was like, that looks like something I wrote. <laughs> and then someone said, yeah, they totally gave you credit for it. I was like, oh, OK. I was just saying, it looks familiar. <laughs> Because one of them says Tesh Ish Chen, which is a great Valentine's Day cookie. And it comes from the language nest. We're just making little cards and we're just having fun. I can't I can't remember. I was just trying to think of all these funny Valentines. And then it transformed. Maybe we'll look at them Wednesday or something. And it transformed into anti Valentine. So I've got Valentine's cards, anti Valentine's cards, which are kind of mean. Some are kind of mean. But I thought, you know. Somebody reached out to me, said, hey, not all of us are hooked up, so don't we get cards? I was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Some of us have bad exes, don't we get cards? Like, oh, yeah, sure, cards for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I've got a dialogue exercise, and I think, well, there's 16 of you, so if we did groups of four, and hopefully everybody is ready, ready to just do it. What I'll do is I'll, I'll get a document. I'll probably pause the recording so you folks can work on it and put you in groups and give you, hold on, let me count the lines. By my count, there are 28 lines of dialogue. Can you do that in 10 minutes? 15. What are we going to do with it? Uh, so it goes from, I wrote a little dialogue in English and you're going to work in four groups. There'll be four people in your group and you'll just translate this conversation to the best of your ability. The purpose of this is I'm going to sort of do a whole bunch of these over the course of the next uh, couple of months just for us to practice. And I'm trying to think of like just conversations that people might have and some of them kind of unusual, some of them probably common and they're going to be scripted so, so that we can film some uh, conversations and then uh, we could put a, I want to put like sort of a book together that's seasonal like conversations arranged by the season just a whole bunch of i've been taking i've been sitting in on the the haida classes at noon 
for through Klink and Haida, and they're great. And they write all these all these dialogue exercises, and I think we're going to end up with a bunch that will will sort of use to teach people in the future. And I'll say this was written by the legendary advanced Klingit students of twenty two. Okay, uh, so yeah, hold on, let me get this right now, I'll send you the link. And... I know Nisha Tola can do Google Docs probably in her sleep, but if you want us to write ours, <laughs> we might need a little tutoring because often this thing falls apart with the, the transcription part of it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, I guess we need, well, we'll see, I guess we'll see how the groups, let's see, if we put everybody in four rooms, then there'll be four people per group, and let me, and then the things are numbered, and let me show you, let me show you what you're going to look at. I don't want to give you... I'll give you a head start though. So it's going to say one, two, three, four. So for group one, group two, group three, group four. So you're going to fill these out, Have maybe have one person. Um, and uh, in each group, I, I don't know, how many folks want to do it? But let's see if. We'll see. We'll check in in, in fifteen minutes. I think you can get it. You think you can't? Make you nervous? Well, we that's just it. like it's like thirty seconds per line if you think about it. <laughs> so I don't know. That's pretty quick. Pretty quick on the draw, if you ask me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, the, all things are open to negotiation. Most things. I figured just go as far as we can make it and probably have to talk about it after anyway. Okay. Oh, I guess I gotta name it. Okay, hold on. I set up the link. Okay, let me put a link in the chat, make sure it works. Can everybody get into the document and then we'll break you into groups and then we'll see some of them are kind of short too it's like Okay, yeah, yeah. Now that I see it, it's like 30 yeah. seconds. Okay, we'll just check in at 625. I'll close it, but I the, the rooms don't go away. So don't panic if you say, I need more time. You don't have to. There's no need to start the revolution this evening. It'll be okay. <laughs> but just have fun with it. Uh, you got 15 minutes to see how much you could do. Then we'll check back in. And... Everybody ready? Push dich. Ah,